Jace Tunnel here today for beach coming. We're going to be talking to you about the cannonball jellyfish, also known as the cabbage head jellyfish. Now you've probably been walking down the beach before and seeing these big globs of just jelly looking things washing up, right? Sometimes there's birds and stuff feeding on them. They're rolling around in the waves. These are actually called the cannonball jellyfish. Some people call them cabbage heads. These look at, they have, they do have stinging cells up underneath this bell, but they really can't hurt you. I've never, I've been messing with these things for decades and uh, I've never felt any kind of sting. If you have real sensitive skin, you might uh, get, you might, you might feel something, but it's not like if you had a uh, man of war or um, say like stinging nettle, those really hurt for a long time. Now look at this, you see all this? There's mucus coming off of here. There is supposed to be a mild toxin in there and that's for whenever they're uh, feeding, that can actually uh, get the plankton, maybe some small fish that they feed on and uh, stun them so that then they can eat them. Uh, they do have uh, a mouth. These are all considered arms and uh, oral arms because they can actually uptake uh, food and things like that through these arms but then there's a mouth right on the middle and inside part uh, that goes up into the stomach which is just below this bell right here um, you might be thinking okay why are there so many of them washing up on the beach right well um, when the conditions are right uh, which include uh, cool waters um, whenever their ocean currents are coming just right from where there's a lot of them and onshore winds we get a lot of these washing up and so those are kind of the three combinations um, nutrients uh, can also mean uh, why we might see a big swarm of them and so you know a few weeks ago we did have kind of a big rainstorm maybe that was part of it look at that coming off of there whoa okay okay so that that might be some of the reasons why it's swarming although now you might be thinking, well, what eats them? Well, uh, in nature, uh, one of the largest sea turtle that we have is the leatherback. They love munching down on these. Uh, and then humans. So we actually, uh, like George, the state of Georgia, the third largest fishery they have is harvesting uh, these cabbage head right here. Uh, they, they take off the top part of them, um, dry them out, and then they ship them off to Asia where they make soup out of them. Who would have thought? Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? These can be found not only in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, on the Atlantic coast, they also have them, and then in the Pacific. So these things can be about 10 inches across. Those are huge, those are kind of the biggest you'd find. Uh, they're actually um, three to six months is how long they live. So it's like boom and bust, you know. Uh, they grow very, very rapidly. And they are made mainly of water. So uh, whenever you see them on the beach, you know, you might see a whole bunch of them on the beach and you go back the next day and you just see it's like a quarter of the size of what they were. And then the day after that, it's, they're totally gone. They've just been evaporated and then, uh, you know, absorbed into the, the uh, sand. And then, you know, you see birds on them, flies on them. So there's things, there's a benefit to the environment for, for these washing up. So you might think, oh man, you know, these are out here, they're going to ruin our day at the beach if you see somebody post a picture. Well, just because they posted a picture one day doesn't mean they're going to be out there the next day. So, you know, th this is a really cool animal. Um, when I was growing up uh, here uh, along the coast as a surfer, all the surfers would grab these uh, in, in the water and throw them at their buddies. And so the only way these can really hurt you is if they hit you in the head. Uh, I don't suggest doing that, but that's what we did as kids. You know, that was a different time. Okay, look at this thing. This is just uh, very cool. Now this thing, there's no point in me throwing this back in the ocean. I, when I walked up on it, birds were already feeding on it. Uh, there's no life left in this thing. Um, it's got, it's, you can see the damage it has on here. So once they beach themselves, they're pretty much dead. Um, so, but I'm, I am going to lay it back down here. Uh, I'm going to let the birds keep feeding on it and uh, let nature do what it does. 
So hopefully you learned something new about the cabbage head jellyfish. And uh, we'll talk to you next time on Beachcomb. Bye.